you guys, this is Maria, and today I want to show you how to make a really cute spider in time for Halloween. And all we're going to need are some Tootsie Pops, which I bought a bag at the 99 cent store, and some chenille stems that I got at Joann's for 99 cents a pack, and these wiggly eyes, I think I also paid about 99 cents, and some tacky glue. Okay, I've never made one of these before, so we're going to learn how to do this together, but it looks pretty easy. Um, I saw it in a magazine, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take four of these chenille stems, and I'm just going to put them together, just like that. Okay, so there's four, and I'm holding them between my fingers. Then I'm going to take one of the lollipops, and I'm going to put the lollipop right in the middle, just like that. So hold it down with your forefinger and your thumb, okay? And if you're left-handed, then you can just do it that way. Uh, one of my granddaughters is left-handed. And then the next part is really simple, really. You're just going to bring this around, see, and wrap it around like you're wrapping a scarf around the Tootsie Pop's neck, okay? And you're going to bring it all the way around. So I'll show you again. Wrap it around, just like you're putting a scarf, okay? So there you have one side, okay? And then you have this side, and see, it pretty much stays because there's wire in there. You're going to wrap it around this way. Remember, like putting on a scarf around the Tootsie Pop's neck, and then you come that way. And so, those are the legs, and there's so, see the wire in them? You can bend them any way you want once you're finished. So now we're going to put the little wiggly eyes on, okay? And I'm just going to tighten that a little bit, okay, because that was a little bit loose. So you can put the eyes, let's see, where should we put them? You could put them there or here. I think we're going to put them here, okay? And so I'm going to take my glue. I'm using tacky glue, but I don't know, you can experiment with some other glues. And um, if you have an adult with you, you can even use a hot glue gun, maybe one of those cool glue guns where it's not super hot. But I think this would work just fine, especially if kids are going to make these. Super simple for kids to make, lots of fun. So I'm just going to put, whoops, you can see I already goofed, <laughs> but it's okay, you know, uh, because that will dry clear. That's what I love about this glue. And going to put some on the other side. I'm sort of watching my camera here while I'm doing this and the Tootsie Pop, so... Okay, and then I'm going to take a couple of little eyeballs, and they might stick to your finger if you have a little bit of glue, like I can already feel it sticking to mine. So, then I'm just going to carefully put the eyeball there. It looks cute, doesn't it? It's already coming to life. And I'm going to put another eyeball on the other side. There you go. And so, just be careful, because if your hand fingers are sticky from the glue, the eyeballs will stick to your fingers, so... Just make, try to make sure you have as little glue as possible on your fingertips. Okay, so here you have your legs. So let's go ahead and bend them, okay? You can bend them any way you want. You know, you can bend them this way, okay? Or you can bend them this way. You can just sort of play around, and then you can pull them down. Aren't they creepy fun? I love these. They're so cute. And I am really scared of spiders, but I'm not afraid of Tootsie Pop spiders. So there you go. So let's try another one, but let's use the chenille stems with the bumps. Okay, so let's do a red one, all right? And But first, we're going to need to pick out our chenille stems. Which colors should we get? How about a red one? A red? No, let's do purple. Purple's pretty. Um, okay, we'll do a red. And let's do, how about a yellow? Let's do some bright colors, okay? And let's do this green. This is a really pretty green. I really like that. Okay, so I can already tell this one is going to look a lot different. So, you know, you can just mix it up and have fun with them. So we're going to get the four chenille stems like this. Remember, pinch it between your finger and your thumb, just like that. And that's about midway. Going to put my Tootsie Pop right there in the middle and I'm going to wrap them around like a scarf, okay? And let's go ahead and do this one too. Make sure it's kind of snug. Oh, that looks really cute. I really like this one. Who says spiders have to be black and brown and, you know, we can make ours really colorful and cheerful, right? And so, okay, so there we go. And so let's go ahead and let's put the eyes first before we play around and bend the legs, okay? 
So I'm shaking my glue because it's got about half a bottle left. So there's one drop and there's the second drop of glue. Okay, so let me put one of the little wiggly eyes there. These are so cute. I love them. They also have these wiggly eyes in different colors too. Okay, so there you have your little eyeballs and let's go ahead and have some fun bending these legs. Wow, look at that. Isn't that cute? And then go ahead and separate these. I think I'm going to put the green one down here. And well now maybe I'll do the purple one here. So it's kind of like that. And Okay, and you could just play around with these and get them right where you want them. Okay, now is that a happy spider or what? <laughs> I really love this one. This one is so cute. Okay, do you want to make one more? Was that a yes? Okay, you talked me into it. Let's make one more. So how about we take the brown Tootsie Pop and let's use a brown chenille stem in orange. We'll use more of these traditional Halloween colors and a tan one and let's go ahead and use the black. Okay, so how do those colors look? Okay, I really like them too. So, let me go ahead and get the lollipop. First of all, remember we're going to about the midway mark, going to put the lollipop right there. Okay, and then I'm going to, you want to hold on to those, wrap it around like a scarf. And there we go. I'm going to take this side and wrap this one around. Oh, I like this one too. Okay, and I'm just going to, whoops, that slipped a little bit. I was just tugging on that. Okay, so isn't that cute? I love those colors together. And so there we go. I'm going to separate the legs. Okay, this side looks a little bit longer, but that's okay. You can always redo it if you want. So let's go ahead and put our dots of glue for the eyes. And there's the second one. Okay, and then I'm going to take one of these little, whoops, that one fell. I'm going to take one of these little wiggly eyes and put it right on top. You see how I'm just dabbing it down? And so I'm trying to be careful not to get that on my fingertips so the little eyes don't stick. Oops, now you see the little glue right there that sort of came out? That's okay, you could just sort of play with it there. See, you can't even see it anymore. Oh, I really like this. It's so cute. I don't know how it's going to look on camera, but I like these colors together. Almost reminds me of Thanksgiving, but they're very fallish colors and very Halloween-y. And I imagine you can do these with other lollipops also. Okay, so there's our Halloween spider. What do you think? It's fun learning together, isn't it? And so let me go ahead and show you the other ones. So we'll have spiders on parade. <laughs> They're really cute. And here's this one. But I think I like the ones with the bumps on the chenille stem, don't you think? They just look, I mean, this one is okay, but these, I just love these. Okay, so thanks for tuning in, you guys, and happy Halloween. Bye-bye.